really unfortunate day for the rapper known as Slow Tire. Any of you guys who are fans of his, I am. Um, I think he actually puts together some pretty decent albums. I'm also a fan of his live performances. He's one of the rare UK rap acts who actually doesn't perform with a backing track. So that always goes um, in my book. And he seems to be somebody that's kind of lived a somewhat interesting life, right? You can imagine him um, getting on it and becoming a little bit, you know, a little bit funky and off stage as well, right? He lives a full life. But one of the things that I kind of noticed about Slow Tie is that as he was ascending in his stardom, I started to notice a few self sabotage risque behaviors that I sometimes know or that I'm all too familiar with. I was thinking to myself, oh, Slow Tie is moving a bit mad. Slow Tie is moving a bit mad because he's doing some things I'm looking at and thinking, Slow Tie, you need to chill out. You need to actually slow down and relax because your star's ascending and there's going to come a point where you're going to be too famous to do the things that you're doing and it's going to bite you in the bum and one of the first instances one of the first instances that i realized slow tie was maybe moving a little bit crazy was when he got into that weird um situation with that comedian Catherine ryan i'm not too sure if you guys remember it was during the nme awards and he was super drunk super fucked up he may have been high who knows and he was on the stage on the nme awards and Catherine ryan a very popular UK comedian here and a host and whatnot presenter was on stage presenting some award or whatnot. And he was essentially, you know, sexually harassing her on live TV. <laughs> Basically, right? He was all up in her grill, smelling her neck, trying to kiss her and shit. And this woman's fucking married, right? Like, like with kids and shit. So it's not even like some, you know, some funky woman on the scene and shit. This woman is like, you know, settled down and whatnot. And he was doing loads of madnesses and everybody was really uncomfortable about it. But Catherine Ryan, definitely somebody who's, you'd maybe think has performed in really dodgy comedy clubs, doing stand up and open mics. Maybe he's got a bunch of brothers or just as, as a boss and she handled it like a fucking pro. And after the fact as well, I was super surprised that she didn't go down the route of like saying that she got abused and that she felt traumatized and she felt unsafe and stuff. She essentially forgave him she legitimately forgave him she was like yeah i'm fine it's okay um i accept you i think so i made a public apology on twitter and stuff and she retweeted and said it's okay shit happens when you're young and stuff live shine free whatever and i saw that moment i thought to myself you know what slow tie if this happens to you you have to take this as a warning that whatever lifestyle you're living whatever you're doing out of you know off stage you need to slow down or you need to kind of make it somehow manageable that's why I thought his first warning shot was when I saw this incident. Again, maybe it's not too much and people don't really think anything of it. And I'm just kind of making a big deal out of nothing. But I legitimately remember this and thought to myself, oh, this is really, really, really weird. Look, see, someone's even got a video here titled Catherine Sota Arashis Catherine Ryan. So that's my first instance. Well, things got considerably worse for him. Now look at this. Headline courtesy of The Guardian. Rapper Slow Tie appears in court charged with rape. <laughs> <laughs> honestly man the fucking the the funnel from like harassing somebody on stage to being accused of rape is fucking crazy isn't it that is just way that's like that meme of like that um spongebob isn't it F five minutes later and then fucking hell mate now he's been accused of rape and he's going to court for it like ouch mama mia um, so Tyron Frampton faces two counts of rape in Oxford and is bailed to appear before the Crown Court next month. If I'm not mistaken, isn't he going out with that um that blonde singer? What's her name? Is isn't Slow Tide going out with that blonde singer? Um, what's her fucking name? I think she does like judo. She's like blonde. She's from the UK. I forgot her name. Her music is terrible. But I'm pretty sure he was dating her for a while. Maybe he's not. Anyway, let's continue. It's a slow tide, a chart topping rapper who received nominations for Grammy Award and a Mercury Prize has appeared in court on two charges of rape. The 28 year old appeared before Oxford magistrates court via video link on Tuesday, charged with oral and vaginal penetration of a woman without her consent. God almighty, those are words no man wants to see next to their name. No man wants to see this next to their name. Aura and vaginal presentation woman without her consent. Fucking hell. He spoke only to confirm his renewal name, Tyron Frampton, and date of birth and address in Northampton. The prosecution lawyer, Adam Yar Khan, told the magistrates that the charge of rape was an indict was the indictable only offence and the case must be heard by the Crown Court. Frampton was bailed to appear on Oxford Crown Court next month. So I was nominated for four um, for, for the best dance music record in the Grammy Awards in 2021. I didn't know that. Oh, shit. The second album, Tyrone, reached number one in the UK charts that year. His first album, Nothing Great But About Great Britain. 
um, was nominated for a Mercury Prize in 2019 and reached top, to top 10. Sota stage name combines references to his slow speech in childhood and an, a homonym of his abbreviation of his first name. So, essentially, this man has to pray that this is one of those kind of, you know, mistaken identity, false accusation type of things and prove it without a shadow of a doubt. Because even if he doesn't, even if he's able to prove out a shadow of a doubt, this is a weird kind of stink to have over your name. And considering his previous actions and maybe his reputation in the industry, because I'm assuming somebody like this maybe has a reputation that kind of, you know, precedes them. Um, so I'm sure there are other people who are probably going to come out and say, yeah, this guy behind the scenes is a bit of a wild lad. He did this, he did that. That's the main issue he's having now with this situation. I'm hoping it's not as bad as it kind of looks, but it looks kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. It's looking fucking crazy for slow tie um and again like i said i just hoped as a fan i really did hope that this occasion that he had this flipping really horrible cringy uncomfortable situation that he had with flipping Catherine ryan at the enemy awards that time i really did hope he would have understood how i need to relax and the fact that the woman gave her gave him grace pick up Catherine ryan for giving that guy grace because she could have really leaned into it and you know exploited it for as much as she needed because legitimately he was harassing her on stage like live in front of a fucking audience which is fucking crazy and she didn't he should have got that grace and moved accordingly the fact that he doubled down on the rapey the fact that he doubled down on the creepy is legitimately legitimately concerning like that's the most concerning part about it and again no one's saying just because you try and sniff a presenter's neck and try and kiss her and shit on stage that you are you know applicable to you know committing rape but the optics aren't good and nowadays in the court of public opinion optics have everything so the optics of you doing this with Catherine Ryan and then being accused of the R word, it's looking a bit peaky out there for you, my brother. It's looking a bit peaky out there for you, my brother. So it kind of is what it is. What a shame. You know, some of the people that you look, you look at and you think, oh, you're a big fan of, they get accused of these kind of things. It kind of stains the music a little bit. But I guess it is what it is. We live in a rapey world, isn't it? <laughs> we live in a rapey world women can't cover your vaginas in your mouths mate there's guys around out there raping doing some madness